Hey everybody, good morning, it's Tim Ali here. I'm gonna show you what it takes to be very diligent and consistent. Because the truth is most people say they want to, to get healthy, they want to lose some extra pounds, they want to put more muscle on. I hear a lot of it from young kids, right? Oh man, I need to get bigger. I need to get, how do I put more, more muscle on my body? But this is what it takes day in and day out. And you're gonna see why it's so difficult for most people to do it. So, here I have, uh, Mr. Sleepless here, Mr. Willie Tala. So Willie Tala, what does it take to, you know, see I'm shaking my shake here every day, about three of these bad boys. Willie Tala, what does it take day in and day out? Man, you gotta get up at least half hour before you, uh, you know, your norm. You know, sandwiches, bagels, protein, uh, 100% natural peanut butter, light mayo, sugar-free jam. It's pretty lean meat right here. And uh, yeah, it sucks really. <laughs> <laughs> but during the day, you're grateful because you're tapping and it's burning up, you're hungry. You're grateful that you, you uh, pack up your meals and you're healthy. If you don't pack them, you're just gonna eat whatever. That's like Taco Bell, yeah. you know, 99 cent McDonald's. Exactly. You know, what happens is you end up saying, you know what, I'll just get it this one time, just this once. And once leads to twice, twice leads to thrice, thrice leads to fives. And you just, you just keep going and eating and garbage because it's called fast food because it's fast and it's easy. But it's probably not the most healthy. Now, there are some foods you can go out and eat on the menu that you, know, you can strip down and eat like a chicken breast and a piece of lettuce. But this is what it takes day in and day out so uh, also here's my check this out i got my meal plan right here right here so you know it's always on the forefront of my mind always on the forefront of what time i gotta eat what time i get to eat what time i want to eat for the results that i want to here's the thing so we always talk about beliefs leading to behaviors which leads to our results and there's two things that really drive the way that you behave the way that you act Number one is the beliefs that you have inside. It's just what you really truly believe. Like I believe by doing all this crazy craziness, right? Prepare my food. Like we got a, a crock pot here full of chicken and potatoes. We got all this protein over here. Ba bam! It is my faith and my belief that if I do all these things and hit the gym, I'm about to leave it to the gym here in a couple minutes, that the results will come. That's one thing that drives behavior. Another behavior driver is the results that you want on the other side. Like, what do you really want? What is it that you truly desire? And I mean, deep down want. Is it to look a certain way, feel a certain way? Is it X amount of dollars in the bank account? Is it freedom of time? So this idea of, of faith and works, and then having a vision, you know, faith's awesome because it not only encompasses the belief before the behavior, it encompasses the result after the behavior, after the action that you take. So does faith, is faith required to become healthy? And the, abs, the answer is absolutely, positively, yes. It does take faith. Faith without works is dead. So you gotta add the works in there, but works also without faith is dead. So that's a little morning tip for you here. Getting ready, got my protein shake. We're just packing this food for the day because he's a student and right. he uh, student for life. Got our crock pot there, I got my meal plan there. And the, oh. Just, just for kicks, we got all our sippy cups here for my son, right? You know, Batman sippy cup. Anyways, we'll see you at the gym, and today we are changing it up. We're gonna rock it, crush it in the gym today. So how bad do you want what you want? And do you really want what you want? Or only if it's easy, only if you're lucky. And that doesn't matter. It's not, we're not just talking about like, you know, losing weight, dropping fat, becoming healthy. We're talking about every aspect of your life. So do you want it only if you're lucky and it's easy? Or do you want it? I don't know. So Temangali here, we'll see you inside the gym.
Here you go, Ty. It's called the, the sick pull up and clap, baby. Pull up and clap. Come on, Willie. Come on, Willie. There you go. Good job, Todd. Nice. Not every day. Don't be doing that. I get a superstar here. Two superstars. What's going on? CNN right here, baby. Don't do that. So we're here to finish the lift. It's time to start doing running. So we're going to start our piece today. Get two 300 yard shuttle runs. Here to Ghost Gym. Thanks, uh, Kayla, Troy, and Mary. We'll use up first. So, there we go. There's one. Oh, five more. Five more. There we go. What's up, everybody? Just finished. Buddy, three, three hundred yards, shuttle bunch. I'm dying. But guess what? See that guy way over there? See that guy right there? Yeah, there's that. Yep. So, I don't care if it's P90 120 or whatever, dude. Dancing to the oldies, sweating to the babies, Jay Fonda. It don't matter. Find something, get it done every day, day in, day out, because that's where you will see the most improvement. So, telling out of here, rock your day. Have an awesome day today. <laughs> you all right? Almost three hours. Dude, that's very hard. Sub Yeah. Anyways, thought I'd get these guys laid down. We hurting today. But that's what you do. If you want what you want, all right, later.